Cookie Dough Monster Cafe and Grill across from the Mountain Mile. And we're about to see, I heard they've got some interesting grilled cheeses in here. Join us inside. Hi, Matt here. I'm Stacy. And this little guy is our buddy Tarzan. Together, we are the Rays on the Road.
change of plans. It is about 85 degrees inside that place, maybe 90. I don't think their air conditioner is working or it's spotty at best. And it is so loud, like we couldn't even sit across from each other and hear the other person. We're blasting music. So we decided to just get our food to, to, to go. We'll have it here. We're going to watch people do the mountain monster maybe as we sit here. But it, I mean, it's like... We were going to go to a park, but it's literally about 100, how hot? 90 it's, degrees? Yeah, it's 90 degrees here, but there's like no, just no air movement. And we've been outside a lot today. And I really don't want to eat hot food in the heat right now. So, sorry, this isn't the ideal um, dining experience for you guys to view. But I think it'll still be good. So, let's talk about what we ordered first. Because neither of us got what we wanted. Oh, they were out of half the menu. Yeah, both of us, on things we tried to order, they were out of it. So, it's not starting off right. And before we get started, here's something I want to just say, get it out of the way. You hear the name Cookie Dough Monster, and you think a place that sells cookie dough, that's going to be a family-friendly place. And their logo's the Cookie Monster from Sesame Street, but as... Colored as a cookie, cookie dough. dough so they can I guess get away from trademark issues so you just think this is like a place for your family it is not the menu and it's fine I'm not judging people and I'm not saying if you bring kids in there you may get a lot of questions as to what some stuff means there's a lot of off-color references to quite a bit of, an of adult nature. profane jokes and some of the logos and the wording is a uh, innuendos towards different pornographic entities which whatever you know it's America do what you want to do but I just think that if you're going to market something towards children keep the porn out of it perhaps so enough it, about move porn move that on front. let's, let's move talk on. about burgers and fries so, so what this I, is Stacy she got a grilled cheese sandwich but they were out of grilled cheese Bread. bread. So we talked them into making it on a burger bun. We don't know how that'll turn out. And it's out. called a pepperoni lovers. And it's supposed to be on garlic sourdough, which they didn't have. So I got it on a bun. And it's mozzarella, cheddar, parmesan mix, pepperoni with a side of marinara. And first to my side, I got the... I don't know if I'm doing a good job with that or not, guys. I think you can kind of see it. But uh, she got loaded. Some it's called loaded. fried potatoes, and it's fries, garlic and herb butter, cheddar, bacon, and sour cream. So, all right. That's what I got. They don't have disposable forks, so yeah, we only you can have eat spoons. Out spoon. So then, let's check out your food. Make sure you we got what you ordered. All right. And so I you, got the El Diablo. And it's an 8 ounce spicy Nash seasoned beef patty, double bacon, pepper jack, sauteed jalapenos, a fried onion ring, garlic buffalo, and mayo. So, can't really, you can kind of see that, yeah. And then for his side, he wanted. I wanted the mac and the cheese. The Gouda mac and they cheese. They were out of macaroni, and then I wanted another thing down there, and they said they were out of it. Yeah, too. then you tried to order what they call charged with battery, which is their um, onion rings. Tried to order that. They said they didn't have them. But there's but some the, on the here, onion it looks ring like. on the burger. So I'm. Who knows? So he ended up getting a pepper so, jack cheese curd. So I don't know. This looks like it's frozen. I think on the way to the restroom, I seen these in their freezer on the way to the restroom. But let's see how they taste. Yeah, give it a try. Well, first off, a lot of batter. It's heavily battered. I'll try to do a cross section for y'all. Yeah. There's barely any cheese in there at all. A lot of breading. But second thing to note, they're cold. So I don't know how that And we cold. literally just picked this suit up off the counter and walked here. It's not been two minutes. It's not like we sat around. We just got the food. Let's see how the ranch is. It's decent ranch. They could make it there. I don't know. It looks kind of thin. They may make it there. It's deep. The ranch is better than the actual thing. You want to try your burger? 
Yeah, sure. I have no idea how I'm going to do this for the car. We originally were going to do it in the park. It was so, so hot. I don't know. We've been outside quite a lot today. I'm pretty red. And... Alright, finally got a place to sit my box. So what here. I'll say is that that's a big patty. It's bigger than the bun. It is a big patty. Let's hold it up there. So I got... Cheese yeah. turd sticking to it. So as you can see, jalapenos fresh yeah. on it. A really big, wide burger. Like I'd say, probably the size of a Whopper bun or burger patty, but thicker. The bacon's actually pretty thick. Looks pretty decent. It's covered in this sauce. I don't know what. Looks like buffalo sauce, I yeah. believe. And then onion rings, and I don't know, maybe mayonnaise. Yeah. That is mayo. a massive burger, guys. And a messy one. Here, I got some extra huh. napkins. I can smell something really spicy. Okay. Andy's back. <laughs> so... It's actually a pretty decent burger. Is it? Mm-hmm. Again, somehow it's cold. <laughs> just like they like just handed it to us. I don't know. It tastes pretty good. I mean, a lot there's a lot going on there and all of it tastes good. Together it all tastes pretty good. It's it's pretty spicy. I'd give it like a five or a six out of ten on the heat level. And that's a buffalo than... sauce. It's like a garlic buffalo sauce. It's pretty good. I thought you'd say spicier than that because maybe it's just the AC's yeah. low and the spicy smell. I don't know. It smells but, spicy. But uh, pretty decent burger. Is it the best burger I've ever eaten? No, but I mean it's it's probably in the top half. Okay. You want me to try? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I got... It's, it's supposed to have a side of marinara sauce, but it doesn't look like they gave it to me. You can have my ranch if you want. We'll see. I might be okay. So, so a grilled cheese on a burger bun. Yeah, they gave it to me. Because I, I really wanted to try this. It's basically like a pizza su sandwich. So it's pepperoni. It looks like thick sliced pepperoni. Ooh, that looks pretty good. A couple different types of cheeses. Like that French bread pizza you like. Yeah. So... I wish it had the marinara, though. That would have been good to dip it in. Mm. It's good. This tastes like something I would make at my house, honestly. Yeah, right. that is something that you would make. Yeah, it's good. So how do you think the burger bun has affected it? It would have been better with the bun, because I don't think they used the garlic... Um, Butter, butter on, it. on yeah, it. Yeah, they did. I don't taste garlic butter. It would have been better on the sourdough, and I just love sourdough bread. But, I mean, that's pretty good, but we make stuff like that all the time. A little pizza sandwiches This is something I would make when I'm on a low-carb diet, which we do a lot. I use those keto buns, put Rayos marinara, cheese and pepperoni. That's what this tastes like without the marinara. So, so I would say that's good, but nothing special. Yeah, something I've eaten a thousand times. And Do you want to try one of these things? Sure, the, these are pepper jack. I don't know. I don't think Man, so. Man, listen to this. Yeah, that's a that's lot hard. of breading on there. That sucks. Yeah, that does suck. Sorry. That's Sorry. not good. Yeah, I should have got fries. Yeah. I'm going to need a drink of water. That's so much bread. Let me get you a spoon. I guess they, they don't get many to-go orders. They Maybe. didn't have any forks or knives or anything in there that weren't metal. And then here, I'll show you guys a... So these are the fritatoes. It's french fries, garlic, herb, something, cheese, and bacon. Sour cream, I guess. So, also something that I like. And I think these are crinkle cut fries. Season, Jeff and Tell. Crunch. That's that is, really good. They look good. Are they warm? I have one. They're warm. Look at all that seasoning. 
Yeah, what, those what, are what seasoning. That's a garlic stuff. herb butter, and that makes me wish even more they had put it on my sandwich like it was supposed to be because it's good. Mm. Yeah. Those are good. That's awesome. The fries themselves are cooked, cooked right, but they're nothing special. But the the crap they put on it is good. good. That's awesome. That's and a, unique. I've never had fries that have this kind of flavor. That's the winner of the day there so far. Mm -hmm. The closest thing I've ever eaten like that is where was that place you used to get those Parmesan uh, garlic fries? The Roses? Is that where it was? That's where I get them, yeah. I love Parmesan garlic french fries, so I really get them wherever they have them on the menu, basically. <laughs> but mostly the Roses is where I've gotten them before. But this is all right. Mm -hmm. It costs too much. Well, I don't know. We actually got quite a lot of cookie dough. Oh, yeah. You want to do that now or cut? And then... We'll just finish eating and then um, we'll cut back to we're going to try that. We bought some of the edible cookie dough, like a sampling of different flavors. So we're going to sit here, finish eating this food, and then we'll come back to you when we eat the cookie dough. And we're back. Hi. Okay, so we finished our food. It's whatever, you know, it was fine. Um, it was mixed. Mid is how we call that. So first off, these are balls of cookie dough. That's kind of like what this place is. They have all these different flavors of cookie dough if you've never been here or heard of this place. So what flavors did we get? We got the chocolate chip, which is like, you know, the old school original. The one with the pink beside it is a frosted sugar, frosted animal cookie. Okay. This one, I believe, is M and M. M. This one here is triple chocolate. Mm-hmm. So I see chocolate chips and chocolate drizzle. I'm wondering what the third chocolate is. So this one is brownie batter. Mm-hmm. This is cookies and cream. Reese peanut butter cup. This one. This one is sugar cookie. And this is cinnamon roll. Well, they look pretty good. I'm not really a big cookie dough person, but you are. Yeah, I like cookie dough. I'm excited. I don't know if I've ever had the type of cookie dough you're supposed to eat, the edible kind. I usually eat the one that gives you salmonella. If I'm so, so is that what this is famous for? It's like <laughs> stuff that won't get you sick? Yeah, this is like it doesn't have raw eggs or the eggs are pasteurized or something. The way well, where do you want to start? Let's start with the classic. We're going to take small bites because we're not going to eat all these. Classic cookie dough. And they come in these little like ramekin things. It's chocolate chip. So, oh, let's hear. We'll just use a spoon. I thought maybe it was like a truffle, like a bite, but it's softer. Pretty good. Like that cookie dough. I think like real cookie dough might be a little better, but that's pretty good. It's a bit, that's as close to real cookie dough as I've had. I've had some of those ones, like the little cookie dough bites edible that aren't very good. But that's pretty close to real cookie dough. Yeah, I'll say it's pretty good. But if, if I'm being honest, I just want to take all 12 of these or 9 of these and stick them in the oven and then <laughs> eat them in about 10 minutes. Yeah, Matt always gets on to me. Because I like, even if I make cookies, I I'm make like, cookies. I'm like, just please save me some scraps so I can bake one in the Poor oven. Poor little, he said, please, sir. Well, if even if I bake the cookies, I bake them medium rare. So. I like mine crispy. Yeah. So that's the um, frosted animal cookie, which is probably my favorite cookie. So. I know uh, Dairy Queen had a blizzard of this flavor this year. That was pretty good. I know my brother got it in that video. And it. it the same exact cookies it has the sprinkles on it and everything like he liked i don't know i can't mm. get it to focus on it but just take my word for it there's sprinkles on that cookie that's good that is really good i foresee a salmon cake in my future though this stuff is good 
though here's something I saw. It has to be refrigerated, and we don't plan on going back to the hotel right now. So. Well, we have to do what we have to do then. We have to eat all 12 of these. <laughs> I'm to eat Salmonella or not. <laughs> so what's this one? This is M&M's. Okay. That's probably my second favorite cookie, or the cookies with M&M's instead of chocolate chips, you know? The keyboard ones, I like mm -hmm. those. It's mini M&M's, I think, so they're like a little softer. I will say this versus the chocolate chip. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but they give you a good amount of M&M's here, whereas mm -hmm. they didn't really give you chocolate chips, copious amounts in that. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. But, I mean, you know, it's M&M's. hard yeah. to mix that up. So this is triple chocolate. We've identified two of the three chocolates. Let's see if we can figure out what the third one is. <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. I'm afraid it might be white chocolate. Which you don't like. Well, I can only, still only identify two of the chocolates. I only got one. I just got the syrup. I didn't even get a chocolate chip. I got a chip. There's very few chips. I got one. It looks like there's maybe two or three. Huh? Maybe chocolate chips cost a lot these days. Maybe that's why yeah, maybe they're the price is skipping up. on it. But then why is there a lot of M&Ms? I don't know. You want another one? Or? No, let's keep trying. I'm not, I don't All want right. to eat too much of it. Either. So, not bad, but, you know, I'm like you. Where's the chocolate chips? This one is brownie batter. It's like two raw items combined into one raw item. The texture's different on this one. I'm wondering, is it trying to be brownie batter cookie dough, or is it just trying to be brownie batter? Mm, I have chocolate chip. But I didn't get a chocolate chip, and I don't even see any on the I cup. I have one. But I will tell you, like, as far as the base, like white or brown, I'm not tasting much of a difference. That doesn't taste like brownie batter. That just tastes like cookie dough. Right. That's what, what I just yeah. said. Like, I the brown and the the pan I can't really tell a difference. I mean that's not bad. This tastes like chocolate cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough. And the triple chocolate is really only double chocolate. In my case single on my bike. So oh, this yeah. is Oreo cookie and cream. Now this one has a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I'm guessing Ooh. what I'm seeing is kind of like there's a little inconsistency as to like what's in your ball that you get. Some of your balls will have a bunch of stuff in them, and some of your balls won't have hardly anything in them. That's really good. Yeah, this is good. I'm not usually one like cookies and cream isn't my favorite flavor, but I'm taking a second bite of that. This may be the best one I've tasted. Look up there. That is a good, good one. But now we're coming into some good flavors. Yeah, these are the three flavors. These are the ones that Matt really wanted. So this is Reese Cup. Well, the triple chocolate I also <laughs> wanted, and you're right, I am disappointed, but not for the reason that you said, it's just because there's not any chocolate in it. Yeah, I was afraid it would be white chocolate, and you wouldn't like it, but it's no chocolate. Again, this one has a different texture. It's more grittier. I guess the peanut butter. Yeah. That's heavy peanut butter flavor. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty good. All right. Sugar cookie. Now... I'm really excited about this one because, you know, when I make sugar cookies at the house, the smell of the dough is so great. And I always want to just take a big bite, <coughs> but I just fear the salmonella. Yeah, Matt won't eat cookie dough. But I'll eat, like, undercooked eggs. I know, you eat, that's what I don't understand. It's You'll weird. eat a sunny side up egg, but you won't eat cookie dough. I know, I just realized that. I'm, I'm a weirdo. All these years I've been like, I'm not a picky eater. But I'm That's a picky eater and a weirdo like everybody else. Again, different texture, more grittier. Yeah, I think sugar cookie base, like plain sugar cookie, is slightly different than the base of regular cookie dough. Here or in general? In general. Okay, here I think it tastes the exact same, but with like raw sugar poured on it. <coughs> That's a little plain compared to all these other yeah. ones, though. Yeah, disappointing. It does not smell. Tastes like it smells. It, yeah, it does not. It, does, it kind of smell, it smells like raw sugar. So maybe that's the smell. And last one is cinnamon roll. I'm going to predict, I think this one, if it tastes how it smells, 
when I smelled it earlier. I think this might be your favorite one. Trying to get it to focus. I don't know. It's not really. They're kind of. Well, you can't see it, but it has like flecks of cinnamon. You can see the cinnamon in it. This one is a lot more uh, liquidy. Gooier, yeah. Pow, cinnamon. You like it? I do like it. That's pretty good. I figured you would. Tastes like cinnamon roll, though. If I were if I were to ever eat it, I imagine this is what it would taste like. I have eaten cinnamon roll, though. You have? No, I do. I like biscuits underdone. I like cinnamon rolls underdone. I like my vegetables raw. I prefer veg. I don't know. I so, I'll, I'll say my <laughs> top three because there's really only three that are any good that I eat. Okay. Cinnamon roll, probably number one. Number two, the cookies and cream. Is that the one with the Oreos? Yeah. So, number one for me is cinnamon. Number two for me is cookies and cream. And last, but well, I guess it is least because it is last. It's Reese Cup. But it's those are the top three for me. If I go back of the ones I tried, that's what I would get again. But I don't know if it's just a, <coughs> they have like a quality control issue. Like some of yeah. these didn't have any of the toppings in them. I would say that it's like a staffing thing because it seemed a little chaotic Yeah, they chaotic were extremely in busy in there. And, and nothing, you know, there just seemed like it was all teenagers that worked there, too, which is fine. I'm very glad to see young people working, but sometimes you need a grown-up. I sure. hate to harp on things, though, but, you know, this was over $50 yeah. without tip, and I always give them a tip, you know. So, this was not worth the money. No, it wasn't. You can eat, like... Incredible Way. food at places around yeah. here for that for less. And it also, that. it wasn't like unsanitary. Like I wanted to leave, but it wasn't that clean in there. No, you dropped that on the floor and I had to pick it up. Yeah, I dropped a card on the floor. Man, picked it up. It was pretty gross. And the one, the side that was on the floor was pretty gross. I probably wouldn't ever come back here. I, I, I didn't feel like appalled and I wanted to leave when I came in, but I just really don't like for things for vulgarity to be marketed towards children you know there's too much of that in the world i probably won't come back here i don't know i, I would so come I back here see all good. i'd give them another chance but I, i'm with you i don't like that we didn't know that going in until we were inside the restaurant and started noticing all the references and things yeah, uh, yeah it took me a second i'm stupid if I had to give it a, like a rating, a scale on a one to ten, I probably would give this like a six. Um, the burger was good, but like they were out of everything. Just the experience and, and about the the they were nice though. The kids working were nice kids. Right, they were nice. In full disclosure, I did use the restroom. The restrooms were clean, and it's weird how you go to the restroom in there. You go down this long hallway, and you loop around to the back of the kitchen. <laughs> I will say that the back of the kitchen looked very clean. So, uh, you know, I, I think they just get a ton of business here, and that's kind of like what's going on here with the issues they're having with being out of stuff. And uh, I bet they get a lot of overflow business. People that don't want to wait at Flavortown, Azul, Junction, they're like, let's just go over here. Well, we had to wait a long time. What were we in there, 30 minutes between when we ordered and when we yeah, got Yeah, it took a while to get our food done. But now seeing how it did not seem to be that fresh, I think maybe they had it done a few minutes before they called her name. Yeah, it's weird. Like I watched them box it up, and then they called her name. We picked it up and took it to the car. I mean, not even two minutes. Was but like somehow it was food. cold, and it's like a 1,000 degrees outside. Yeah, so I don't but. know. I would give it, you said a six. Yeah, I would give I it would a six. I would give it a five. A five, and my scale to give you a little, anything below a five is gross. A five is me, mid, whatever. But so I'd say it's a five. It's whatever. I'd come back. I would get that burger again. But I like that garlic butter. Whatever that garlic butter is, whatever they put that on tastes good. But I wouldn't come back just for principle. Not because I hated yeah. the food that much, but I don't think I'd come back here. I, I just the Balenciaga burgers. To for me. me, it's all about the food. You know, it's you know <laughs> potato, potato, whatever. You know, but just give me a good burger, and they gave me a pretty good burger. It wasn't great, but it was pretty good. I bet if that was hot, it would have been really good. Yeah. So, 
but yeah, that was probably the only thing I would get again. I eat this cookie dough's all right. What about some my fries? Them, they were all right, but that's just not my cup of tea. Like garlic cheese fries is not. I would have rather just had the fries with the garlic, like garlic parmesan mm -hmm. fries, rather than all that other stuff. Because I didn't, didn't eat most of the cheese. I just ate the fries. I would probably just have the fries plain tossed in seasoned salt. I mean, those mm -hmm. fries were pretty good on their own. They were, I think they were frozen, but I love frozen crinkle, <coughs> crinkle cut fries that are fried. The edges get crisp, but yeah, they're, they're like good. puffy in the middle, tossed in um, Lowry seasoned salt. Yeah, if I could have my sandwich with the intended garlic butter sourdough, and if it had the marinara to dip it in, that probably would have been great. Yeah, but. that probably would have been. I, I just that's why I'm like I'd give them another chance. This is one of the busiest uh, times of the year for them. They were obviously were not prepared for it. They were out of half the menu. And those kids were working hard. Yeah, they were working there. hard. And I, I hate to like. Yeah, uh, we're not trying to. I'm not necessarily ragging on somebody's business. Or, you but know. we're just we're honest. We just you see yeah. it as it happened, as it unfolded. You see it. And I don't so. want to recommend you to come here with your kids, and then you walk in and you're appalled. Now that, by, yeah, that's something else. I would not bring children here. No, this and is I not see tons friendly. of people bringing kids here, and I guarantee you they don't know what they're walking into. They get a lot of questions. I'm sure, like mommy, daddy, what's this what's mean? This, then we, I'm not even going to say some of the names of the no. items. But I guarantee if the one of these if my eight year old tried to order one of these burgers, I would have lost my mind. Yeah, I Could just, you imagine if we brought Lily here and she tried to read something off of this menu? The world no. we live in now is trying to make children <coughs> grow up uh, faster and faster and it's just, you know, why further that along? Why not take them to McDonalds and Ronald McDonald and the play place and just leave yeah. these kind of places, you know, until they're older. Yeah, I think so. But I'm not a parent. I'm not yeah, we don't have kids. I said if my kid saying hypothetically, and I'm not judging if you choose to bring your kids here or however you do it. I'm just saying we try to recommend places, and I don't want to recommend this, and you walk in here with your children and feel like we led you astray because I want to be honest about what it is. There is quite a bit of innuendo and some outright vulgarity in the names of the items and in the logos and things like that. And on the Matt scale, if this is Matt approved or not, this has not attained Matt approval yet. I cannot say you can come here and get your money's worth. So this will get a yellow uh, slash orange cautionary. Use caution when coming here. Yeah. Uh, realize that you may not get your money's worth and you may not have a great experience. Yeah, I agree. Just use your best judgment. So, if you not green, not red, but just in the middle. Yeah. We appreciate you guys coming along with us, though. If you've made it this far, I can subscribe. It really helps us out. We're a small channel. It helps push our channel out on the algorithm so that people like you who enjoy it will also uh, get a chance to see it. Small channels like us that don't buy influencer uh, views and clicks and all that, and it's we, very hard for us to build our channel. And we accept no payment from anywhere ever that we review. We won't even accept complimentary foods. If a place insists, we say no. 100% honest reviews. Yep. We're not influenced by in any way, compensated in any way by these places. This is not our job. This is just something we do for fun. Yeah, you watch a lot of these YouTube channels out there that do reviews, and they're basically just advertisements for the, the place that they're the established. And that's that fine reviewing. if that's how people make their living. But I think you need to be up front that that's full what you're doing. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. And we disclose that we're not that. We are the opposite yeah. of that. We just go places that we want to try or we want to eat or that we've been there and want to go again and share it with you all. And we want to help you guys plan your trips because that's part of what we do is we watch other YouTubers to plan trips for ourselves. So we want to help you guys plan your trips. And that's why we think it's important to be honest. Get your money's worth. Yep, because we work hard for our money and we know you guys do too. I guess that's all for now. We're going to... Looks like it might start raining. We're going to have to find something to do out of the rain. Love you. Bye. Bye.